I ran out of water. So it's time to move. And I'm um, packing up this morning. Thought I'd show you what it, lo what it looks like when I run out of water and what it looks like to pack up to go into town. I've uh, I filled up my tanks. I've been going about two weeks before I have to fill up my water and uh, my my uh, reader has been on empty for about two days, which I know by now that I usually get about two days once the red light goes on. And let me show you what it looks like and sounds like when I'm out of water. So I leave the, can you hear it? You hear it gurgling? It means I'm out of water. And it's on empty. It's been on empty a couple of days, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that fill up with what's in the tank. And later, once we're full, I'll, I'll show you what a uh, healthy water pump sounds like. This is a new water pump too, by the way. I just got it replaced last summer when I was on the trail. Um, hear it? It's really struggling. So anyway, uh, packing up, that I'd show you what it looks like to have to uh, pack up and get on the move. Um, it's about a 45 minute ride into town for me. I'm on a really, really crazy rocky road, so I really didn't want to have to go out any sooner than I needed to, and I'm debating about whether or not to come back. We're still doing shelter in place and all that. So um, also laundry day, so I'm not making my bed because I need to do all my laundry. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to pack up. And uh, thought I'd bring you along with me. Nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find a home. Hey, friendlies, I'm Carol, and welcome back to my RV life. So, you want to help me pack up? get ready to hit the road, go run errands today. It's a busy day. It's always a full day when I need to run into town, regardless of where I am, how far I have to go. It's always a full day. And uh, I've got to do mail. I've got to do laundry. I have to do groceries. I have to fill my tanks and dump my tanks. I probably should get propane as long as I'm in town. And um, I think that's all I have to do today, but that's a lot. I've got mail to send out to viewers, prizes, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Let's pack up and go. So yeah, I'm not completely out of water. It's just really at the bottom of the barrel. Uh, you heard the pump. That's probably the last of the water going through the pump. And then once everything, once the pump, I don't know, stores it or wherever in the pump, I, I have... I don't know, maybe a gallon left in the system that I can use. So use that to clean up and get ready.
look at you all of a sudden standing up like that. All right. We're about a half hour from hitting the road, so time for Sadie's Dramamine. She still gets car sick, so. Look, yeah, good girl. Time for your Dramamine. Time for your Dramamine. Uh, hopefully she'll outgrow that. The vet said that, and all the research that I did before that even, said that sometimes while they're growing and their inner ear hasn't developed yet, the motion sickness can be really bad. And what I want to prevent is her, is it becoming a learned behavior? So I want to make sure that she doesn't equate riding in the car with feeling nauseous and throwing up. So I'm really wanting to nip it in the bud uh, so that she's comfortable also and she's not sick. Also, just so that she doesn't learn that riding in the car equals puking, because that could be very bad for an RV dog. <laughs> All right. I'm um, just about ready to... Uh, I guess I'm, I'm at the point now where I just bring in everything from outside. That's when it gets crowded in here. And uh, yeah, we'll get that done. Got to round up the garbage. I have a lot of garbage. Why do I have so much garbage? Oh, because the last time I went into town, I didn't... So I can empty garbage where I uh, get my water and dump my tanks and I didn't go there last time I went into town so I've got probably close to two weeks of garbage here and you know Sadie's tearing apart pillows and stuff this is hanging in the tree because there's chicken stuff in there because I bought Sadie some chicken breasts for extra special treats yes I'm a vegan but my dog is not and uh yeah I know I felt guilty about buying chicken I really did but she's a dog and extra special treats for training. So I boiled up some chicken breast. I'm telling you, this garbage can comes in really handy. Boy, and it's full. Gosh, I don't think it's ever been this full. Clean up extra garbage. I clean up garbage that I find around the camp, take it with me and dump it. I like to leave my spots cleaner than I found them when I can. There we go. might be wondering what this is goodwill I'm still doing the great spring purge and this is all stuff that was in my storage outside in the back it's mostly like old straps extension cords just stuff I haven't used in years so I'm gonna give it to goodwill along with this along with this carry-on so and the baby gate that I used for hook that Sadie outgrew within like the first day. She was able to jump over it. I was cordoning off the kitchen area for Huck, but didn't work for Sadie. Don't need it. All stowed away, ready to go. Once everything is brought in and pretty much put away, my last step is always a bath. I mean, I sponge bath on a regular basis anyway to keep the, the essential parts clean, but I do a thorough the day I go into town. You know, despite everything that I talk about, embracing dirt and uh, living a dirty lifestyle, I think a lot of a lot of times it it's taken out of context. I'm inviting you into the reality of my everyday life, and my everyday life is living as close to nature as I can in an RV by myself on public lands and I don't 
clean up my fingernails and be perfectly quaffed every time I turn on the camera, but I'm not completely uncivilized. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't, I try not to look like a homeless person when I go into town. Not that there's anything wrong with homeless people or looking like a homeless person, but I do understand civilization. I do understand that there are rules and mores to our culture and how we live. So absolutely. If I have enough water, I usually take a shower before I go into town and that means I can even take a shower when my tank is on empty but it has to be like only on empty like one day and I guess I have at least five maybe seven gallons left in there and I could take a quick shower and wash my hair when my tank is on empty but you heard the water pump it's beyond empty so I don't have enough water to take a shower so I'm gonna do a thorough sponge bath and yeah you know I'm gonna make it look like I don't live in the forest all the time by myself so <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna take a bath and put on my town clothes I use a little bit of soap, but even like doing dishes, soap takes a lot of water to wash away or you get soapy flavor. So oftentimes uh, for dishes and for cleaning myself, I'll just use vinegar. And I have a bottle of vinegar and water and I'll just use that. But when I'm going into town, I actually do use a little bit of soap. I have, I have this all natural lye soap and this doesn't suds up a lot and it rinses away pretty easily. So, all right, I'm gonna take a bath. Ha, that's so much better. I really feel am amazingly clean. It's amazing how clean you can get from a sponge bath. I'm going to share with you a couple tricks of the trade. So this is my deodorant and it's a carrier oil. I think I'm using almond oil in this with a couple drops of clove and tea tree oil. Both are antibacterial. You want to be really careful not to use a lot. The clove will burn your skin. So just shake it up. Put a couple drops on your palm and that's it that's my deodorant and I also just use the rest it's oil so I just use the rest to moisturize so yeah I think it's just tea tree and clove you can put a little lavender in there if you want you could put anything in there you want but the the two main ones are tea tree and clove because they're antibacterial and I kind of like smelling like clove and uh, what was the other trick uh, the other trick is since I don't wash my hair as often as I used to and since I wasn't able to shower before I went into town this time, I have a spray bottle of water, again, with my, I love my essential oils, a little tiny bit of tea tree and lavender. Again, you can put whatever you like in here. I think I have a little orange in here too. And I'll just use this to kind of freshen up my hair between showers, between, yeah, between showers, between washing my hair. And especially when I'm going into town, you know, I don't want to smell funky and make sure you shake it up. And uh, I got these spray bottles. I wanted glass because I'm trying to not use so much plastic. So I got these on Amazon and see, I marked it hair. There's, I think two of them came in a pack and I really like this. So spray my hair, a little bit of essential oil. So I smell like a hippie, a little bit of clove, a little bit of orange. And then, uh, just lotion, you know, it's dry in the desert. So I just want to make sure I don't completely dry up. Uh, it took me a couple of years to learn that, you know, my skin does get really dry out here. I didn't really notice it at first. I notice it now. Uh, and I also just use this on my face. Yep, I do. <laughs> I used to spend hundreds of dollars on anti-aging fancy cream. And I think this works better than anything I ever used before. What did I used to use? all kinds of stuff. Actually, I, I found the Olay, oh, one of the Olay anti-aging ones, which was on the inexpensive side of uh, what I had been using. And uh, and I liked that. But now I just use Lubriderm. Shit, you want to know another? You know what? I think I'm going to do a, a video. <laughs> kind of a tongue-in-cheek. You know what? I'm going to save it. I'm going to do like a tongue-in-cheek My Beauty Routine video. Stay tuned for that. But those are some tricks of the trade. Handmade deodorant, all natural. And, hand, uh, well, my lotion is not all natural. I could just use oil. I was just using coconut oil for a while. But I bought this when I got my tattoo because you need to keep your tattoo moist uh, when it's healing. And uh, all the tattoo artists recommend this. And so now I have a big, this is like the smallest one they have. I like it. I think it's making a difference. I think it's really making a difference. My skin is not as dry. I think my face isn't as dry. So, okay. I think we're ready. Okay.
you're a good girl. What's going on? What's going on? What's up with your little nubby tail? Are you ready to go? You want to go for a ride? What's going on? Okay, so it's 9.30, a little later than I would normally get out, but it took me a little longer to uh, break camp since I was filming it. But I can usually break camp and be out within a half hour. And that's with even been sitting a while. I often, one thing I left out is I start doing a lot of the cluttery stuff, like the books and stuff that I got out, the cook's book, cookbooks and stuff. I start putting a lot of it away the night before. And then in the morning, it's just kind of the essentials and the stuff outside. But uh, this road is hairy, and so I'm gonna pay attention to driving right now. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, a mile of crazy road. like a little rough road to get the blood pumping first thing in the morning after two strong cups of coffee. Okay, I made it out relatively unscathed, but I'm like going, boop, 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 boop. I mean, like, I thought I had a flat tire, and then I got on a smooth road, and then I thought I had a flat tire. I got out and checked. All my tires are fine. I was like, it must be the road. And then I got on this smooth road behind me, and I'm still here in clunk, 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 so I had to crawl under, and I've got a rock in my duels. So, I remembered to grab the camera. All right, see, I got a rock. Where, uh, yep. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, uh, grab my axe. <laughs> okay, it's really wedged in there. The hammer's not working. I gotta break out the heavy artillery. See, um, I can't find my crowbar. I mean, wow, my black tank smells really bad. I guess it's close to full and it's warm out. But um, 
my crowbar is in here somewhere. Yeah, so let me see. Shit. And it happens to be right by the tailpipe. Chip it away. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Boy, this is in here bad. I've never had one in here this bad before. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Do I keep driving and try to drive it out? Oh. I think it's time to phone a friend. I could probably let some air out of the tire. Oh my god, this is hard work. <laughs> so much for my shower. I'm rolling around in the dirt. All right. So I called a friend and she said, um, because I know they had one when they were coming to see me, Melissa and David. Hi. They, uh, they, I know they had one in their duels on their way to see me. So I, uh, called them and they said to roll it back so that the rock is just above the ground, which really makes a lot of sense. It makes it easier to hack at. Out of shape so that's what I'm doing I'm hacking at it with my um, axe and it's breaking up a little bit and I'm able to kind of wedge the wax in a, the axe in a little bit so I could let my air out of my tires but I'm like I don't know 40 miles I think from town and I don't really want to let my air out that much but um oh boy. it's been a rough week my awning broke um, it ripped um, pulling it out this morning so that I could reposition it to make sure it was locked for the road. I had that issue with my uh, uh, editing software all day yesterday. And, you know, of course, the rock incident uh, about a week ago. It's just been, I don't know what's going on. Rough going lately. I'm not sure why. And now a rock in the duels. Well, that road, you know, I mean, two of the problems were because of that road. All right, I'm going to get back to hacking. I'm making progress. All right. Oh. I know I need to be careful that I don't stab the tire with the axe. I know, I know, I know. I can hear you all already freaking out. All right. It's it's making I think I'm making progress. I think I have my helper. <laughs> she wanted to come out. She hasn't learned yet to pee. She hasn't learned like what um what uh, packing up looks like. So she peed inside, but that's okay. All right. So anyway, I've been hacking away. 
even had sparks. And I think I'm starting to, um, it's chipping away. I'm afraid I'm actually gonna pop the tire. I've been chipping away at the rock here. Really careful not to puncture, hang on. Really careful not to puncture the tire, but I'm making progress. So I might actually, Oh, 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 look, look. Okay, yes, I think we're making progress. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, oh, it's coming out. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it, it's moving, it's moving. Oh my gosh, it's moving. Okay, okay. Sadie girl, is somebody coming? We've been here for an hour. Two cars have gone by. Nobody has to help. That's okay. Okay, you're a good girl. What a good girl. Hey. You alright? Yeah, I got a rock stuck in my pool, but I've been out here about a half hour and I think I finally got it. <laughs> Thank you though, I appreciate it. Look at this! Hi, Sadie girl. You're a good girl. You let me know that the car was stopping. That was really, really good. Oh, shoot. Alright, I had good leverage. I shouldn't have stopped to shoot. Okay, we got this. Look at it. It's coming. Okay, let me see. Okay. Oh. Come on. Come on. I got to tell you, you want to talk about the sweet taste of success, this freaking rock. <laughs> it wasn't going to let me get, let it get me, but I do have rug, road burn on my shoulder and uh, on my pinky <laughs> and I'm filthy after my bath. Yes, I got it. I got it. Let's take a look at the tire. Make sure I didn't puncture it. Okay. Oh, let's see what we hear. How does it look? You guys can probably see better than I can at this point. Sadie girl, you're such a good girl. <laughs> I mean, cars have driven by and she started growling when he stopped. So I think everything looks good. Oh my God, I did it. <laughs> Yay. You can do anything. <laughs> almost anything all right awesome now I'm gonna it's literally I think this took me how long did it take me I'm gonna double check okay well it took me almost an hour and uh, I'm dirty got some minor scrapes a little sunburn <laughs> but I did it I did it so thank you for Melissa for the suggestion to roll it back closer to the ground that really helped and it just took a lot of pounding and some patience and, and uh, okay, I need to get back on the road. I got shit to do today. All right, awesome. Bye. Okay, decided to turn on the camera because you're not gonna believe, you wouldn't believe this if I didn't show you. I got another rock in my duel. I went down a road that I'd never been down before off the highway to look for camping. And I got another one. I mean, how does this happen? Look, I mean, seriously, what the hell? What okay, a day. So I, pound, I pounded until my hands are raw, my shoulders raw, 
and then I said screw it I just drove it out so 40 miles an hour for a couple miles and it came out by itself I'm telling you when shit goes wrong it goes wrong never just one thing at a time I'm frustrated 